is going on guys wiser here coming to you with a recap of one of the last wars for 2.0 and invicta actually yes i'm combining both the invicta and 2.0 recaps into one and why is that you might ask well that's because 2.0 matched invicta uh it was intentional um we were kind of finishing uh wars around the same time uh hoodie reached out to robots and said hey why don't we do a do a match now usually when we do these it's more of like a fun family scrim where we split up the sides and the weights and everyone's matched all like all over the place and you know we don't have certain rules we don't do dips and blah 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 but this time we said screw it we're going in full war mentality for both sides and we're giving it our all for both sides so 2.0 comes with the two-star victory over invicta uh really nice job boys and gals i should say uh but really nice jobs by both sides really you know it could have could have went either way for any side pretty much up to any point invicta did have to use quite a few more dips than they'd hoped i know um i was actually on the invicta side for this war uh on my town hall 10s uh, yeah, so it's just unfortunate the way it worked out for Invicta, but you know, 2.0 held true to their form and came through with the victory. So I do have a crap ton of um, replays I want to get into here. Wanted to wait a couple days. I know. Um, well, first of all, I was camping, so I couldn't have even done it if I wanted to. However, um, 2.0 has a couple of big wars. We mat mismatched our war against Spartan's Legacy on the weekend, so we redid that one on a uh, Sunday for Monday search. That's about to start in about two or three hours, I believe. And then we got another one this weekend, so I wanted to push this recap a little bit just because I know a lot of these bases are going to end up floating around. And yeah, it'd be nice to at least have a couple more wars being able to use these bases that we got to chest against our own trad and true attackers so let's just jump right in i think i'm gonna start off on this side mr chad Fowler getting hit by my man heartless heartless is sure heartless when he makes these attacks he just beats up the bases heart's gonna bring his standard double jump govaho i love it shattered just shattered govaho let's get that cc pulled up poison down doubling up on the heroes and the cc troops which is perfect nice amount of wizards going around getting the funnel down mm -mm -mm. and wall gets open open it goes kane's gonna lock right on that queen along with all those valks down she goes in one sec it's gonna end up dropping a jump spell um i might have pushed the jump i was looking at this earlier to connect this expo compartment but it ends up working out well because you're gonna see his troops kind of split his golem takes a hike kind of to this side with a few valks his king goes to the other side with a few valks and he just gets that sort of spread push uh in the base that he needs starts sending in hogs from the outside he's taking care of a few of these defenses that queen uh, goes for a bit of a walk but really her job's done the cc troops are dead so her on cleanup starting on this side and he's got um some hogs over on this side with a couple more cleanup wizards he's about to drop it's just absolutely perfect everything's gonna pinch in and end up uh meeting up at this tesla tower now doesn't quite have enough i believe i did watch these recasts before i went camping and or these replays i should say um has a few valks go in there doesn't have quite enough hogs to push through this tesla farm so it is a bit of a scary moment ends up taking down a few of them in the process some nice springs but leaves i believe these three teslas and because yeah these valks are going to go down i don't know if they get this tesla no they do just in time they get the one tesla but it's a couple teslas in arch tower but everything's just kind of making its way around the base now like i had said gonna meet up here the only threat would have been this one building that had this one nice cleanup wizard just drops on that wall nice and early gets it going has the king in there gonna do some tanking for those tesla towers once that queen gets in range gonna knock them down like absolutely nothing it's definitely gonna be a tree in the bag here for heartless down it goes arch tower a few trash buildings see you later tree stars in the bag nice job buddy i am exhausted i literally just finished a three hour drive camp with the family last couple days at the beach good stuff good stuff all right so good old patino going against lime killer lime is one of the best base builders i know uh this base specifically i hit in a friendly challenge now again sometimes in friendly challenge you get horse blinders on because you have your army built and you're trying to hit the same base over and over again with the same army and a lot of times i like i made a couple slight changes but nothing enough i think if i just changed i was trying to go very light on the funneling troops and only bring a couple giants um i think if i just brought a golem i might have got it i had a 99 percent on it once and then it just i could not three star this base for the life of me um because of things like this i tried this exact entry 
will open up that wall she ended up walking up and around she does not want to go into this chamber that expo is so far back if that tesla's not popped and these defenses are down these defenses on the outside are closer than the stuff in the core so she actually goes for a hike but does get that uh, get the clan castle pulled out here poison goes down gonna have to use that ability as soon as the pekka takes a swing nice job on that you really want to make sure that pekka takes its first swing and your queen will finish it off no problem if you hit it before the pekka takes the swing sometimes if she's not attacking just the pekka you're in big trouble so always make sure of that but let's the valks in there I could not break this corner of the wall also for the life of me because that building was one step back. Um, but <laughs> Patino does it absolutely perfect. Valks are in, shredding all this stuff. Sends in a couple hogs. I liked how a couple healers drew off of the queen at the at the entry point there. Locked onto the king and Valks. That really helped things keep moving through the base. Just starts spreading these hogs out bit by bit, few at a time. Probably was a little bit heavy because there's a lot on this back end he has to worry about and does not give his uh, king and Valks enough time to get there. But it doesn't really matter. He's got all these all this cleanup down here it's it's definitely going to taken care of gets that heal down just in time take care of those hogs with that bomb i don't believe they make it through all that maybe they do actually boom loses a few to spring traps yeah i don't think they quite make it through all these defenses but it doesn't really matter right king valks end up locking onto that defensive king there spent a little bit of time working on him and there's only really like those three defenses up in the corner once this stuff goes down so the only threat to not be having a successful raid would be not to get this stuff in the core but all the valks everything now drawn onto that king get right in there finish that off queen's kind of got free passage up and around to those uh to those defenses i actually think she goes to the wall once this stuff goes down yep of course she does she could just walk right around and in there but why would she do that when she could bust down that lava wall down it goes down the arch tower goes down the cannon goes tree in the bag for patino nice job my friend crushing it I am crushing this beer. All right. Silent. Going in on Leo Lager here with the HGHB. Obviously, very, very uh, common attack. Um, I find guys when uh, you see these anti three stars that are very sort of boxy. They don't have a strange design. You don't have a lot to worry about. Very standard issue funnel around the outside. There's really very few doubled up buildings. Nothing wrong with that. I mean, this is still a very solid uh, standard issue, I would say um anti three star but that is the whole thing about hghb it does not care how good your base is we're just gonna let a bunch i like how all the, all the healers though take off of the giant and he heal the wizard like of all things but finally they kind of step up they end up locking onto the king and the bowlers there burn through that lava hound down it goes just got to finish that stuff off bowlers are now moving in if you can manage to keep everything inside you know working together here in sort of this death ball hghb clump uh, you're looking pretty now as queen goes for a little bit of a hike but has just enough uh, you know has the ability uh, has just enough to kind of power through this six o'clock section with her and it works out perfectly i also like the use of the skelly spell here uh, a lot of times especially if you know there's a hound in the cc do not bring two poisons bring that skelly spell i mean sometimes it feels like a moot point but if you drop it at the right moment you know, even save it closer to the end of the raid and you see one of those buildings that a trash building that got left in a compartment that you know damn well your cleanup crew is not going to get to. It can be so, so clutch, guys. So really consider that Skelly spell. It, it is stronger than it looks, especially you get a donated max one. That's really nice as well. Right, has all these hogs moving in, sends in a few more on this mortar, just kind of let everything meet up in this three to four o'clock compartments. Heal spell goes down, gonna take care of that stuff, no problem whatsoever. Loses a couple of spring traps, but he's got way too many in there. This uh, this last compartment does not stand a chance, even though a bomb goes off. It's gonna take down that uh, uh, ugh, air defense, take down that arch tower. Do you have enough for it? Not quite enough for the arch tower, but look at this. He's got the bowlers. King under the heel still has the ability there. Has uh, cleanup wizards all over. Drop that skelly spell. Start doing some cleanup on the outside as well. I'm going to have opted to drop it inside here because if they took out these buildings, the king would have rerouted down. But again, like I just think the skelly spell, you have a lot of options with it, guys. It's really good to have for that cleanup. Um, see, he even lost his queen here, right? But the, the king ends up powering through. Skelly spells get in there, or gets gets the stuff on the outside. And the bowlers are going to finish off this dark elixir storage and then finish off the last compartment there. And it's tree in the bag. Definitely not the most fluent of the HDHBs I've seen. Um, this one was a lot tighter than most. But uh, I think it's just a good example of even if things don't go quite right, um, it can still work out well for you. um 17 iggy iggy's freaking awesome 
MK has been working on this little bit of a base design, having this sort of centralized expo. Um, I guess the idea is it's kind of like a dead zone with an expo right in the middle, right? You don't want things kind of jumping. You want a lot of other things closer to it. So connecting jumps are going to force things up and around and just leave that expo shooting at it. Uh, Iggy rips this apart though, right? Nice baby drag down, really gets this whole bottom six o'clock section uh, funneled off. And then I believe he goes in um, around, yeah, there's go the other minions. I think he goes right in at this corner here and then works his way over to the queen chamber and just kind of works a clockwise rotation around that expo and uh, just really just works this base bit by bit. Funnel is taken care of, even drops that loon. Loon gets in there, nice one for one trade. Down it goes. Push that giant forth. Get the CC lured out. Poison's going to go down. I'll take care of that jazz. Poison, 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 poison. Poison, 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 poison. <laughs> Any second now. Oh, that was kind of weird. For, maybe, maybe, so, I'm trying to figure out why he cleared this up here. I swear he went in from... Maybe, I know when I attacked this base in a friendly challenge, I went from the 9 o'clock. Um, but goes ahead, opens that up for the queen. Poison goes down. <clears throat> she's going to mop all that stuff up, no problem. As soon as that is done for, she's going to now step into this chamber and get actually really good value. The expo locks on right away, so he's going to need a bit of an earlier rage here. Doesn't really matter because she is going to get fantastic value. There goes that rage. Boom, boom, boom. Down goes the Tesla. Going to take care of all of these defenses. So in go the Valks. So the Valks do go in from the 3 o'clock position. This is what I thought. Um, CC with the wall breakers. Open everything up. Valks go right on in. So Queen's getting a big time value down at the 6 o'clock. Because she has access to basically 5 compartments down there. The Valks now have access to 3 compartments. Well, I guess 4 compartments. And only leave one more and the outside of the base to deal with for the hogs, right? He's got a dozen hogs he's going to work with. Um, has a wizard and a minion still in the bag for cleanup. That is always, always very important. Got one heal spell, though. He's going to drop that down in one moment. He's got to let these Valks do their thing. Work through the base. Does lose a few to the up, uh, up part here. But he's about to drop a heal spell, I believe, right over this section. Something like that. King locks onto that expo. Just perfect. Down it goes. And Boom, here goes that heal right over the three. Get it down, get it down. There it goes. Gets double duty, right? Uh, wanted to give those hogs a minute on the outside to get that work done and get inside that heal while they're working on that whiz tower. Heal up right under that bomb. Down goes that sweeper. He's basically got a cannon and a sweeper in this far compartment to go. Down they go. A little bit of cleanup. Valks all over the base. Bunch of hogs left. It's tree in the bag for Igba. Nice job, buddy. All right, 16. Derp a doo. Congrats on your promotion, my friend, to 2.0. Just got recently, just literally gave him the news today. We actually had a nice wave. We got uh, five new guys we just brought up over the last couple of weeks to 2.0. So, really working with them and got some nice, new, fresh blood in there. That's always good to have. Derp a doo bringing in his version of the HGHB. It's going to be hard to avoid uh, showing at least a few of these attacks every recap, guys, because it is the thing right now. Create that nice big funnel. As soon as the funnel's created, let's go ahead and rage it up. Let those giants right on in there. Drop that queen behind. And let's get some bowlers going. Bowlers are going to walk right in here. Now, you're going to see exactly what I talked about. This sort of crazy death ball that gets created essentially here. Bowlers go in. Follow the giants right in. Just start getting really good value. Has to hit the queen ability a little early there. So he, lose, so he can lose aggro from that expo. While well, she works up and does her thing. Bowlers get in there. Smash, smash, smash. The only thing I'd be worried about is the CC troops at this point. Because there's not a lot to take them out. Especially that balloon. There's really no air targeting troops. But the poison. Double poison goes down. Takes care of that one wizard in there helps out just dandily queens don't clean up on the outside like you can see how quickly this attack just just snowballs right now that everything's in this compartment giants under the rage king's beating through that to get to that queen finally busts through that wall rages it up takes down the defensive queen working on that queen chamber now in comes some reinforcement hogs nice quick cleanup wizard on the outside there start working on some of that trash only a couple more uh, apartments of defenses going on this double tesla with the king protecting it it's definitely gonna be too much for four hogs to handle so does a nice job just really just tries to hold off on the hogs till everything gets up and around to that section we work through a few storages here finally lets that king out bam 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 Everything's going to start moving back up to this one location he's going to go ahead and send in the four hogs once everything's doing some tanking just perfect timing on all that stuff 
and gonna be a tree in the bag for derp there go those hogs i was talking about two and two does lose one to a spring trap down goes the tesla down goes the air defense this base is done for nice hit derp -do. and welcome to 2.0 my friend beauty what else do i got all right a little town hall 10 action Tam Tam going in on you. Um, sorry, Bird Dog here. Uh, so very newish uh, Town Hall 10, right? Bird's working on some of his walls first, getting some of that jazz out of the way. Uh, does have the level one Inferno's uh, level Archer Tower. No, only one Archer Tower, a few Archer Towers. My bad. Um, air Defense Archer Towers and a couple cannons. So he's working on a few of his point defense there. Just slow, slow, slowly working here. Does have that level 39 queen, level 33 king. But Tam goes in with drags here, which I thought was awesome. Uh, nice, nice early uh, max lava hound. Soak up some traps. Get that uh, balloon in there right on top of that air defense. Doesn't, oh yeah, the crash gets it under the raid. So perfect. Drags lock onto the heroes. Smash them down. Just got to work through that baby drag. They'll take it down in two puffs of a smoke. Down it goes. Just nice spread on the dragons here. Has a bunch of cleanup troops. Has not deployed the heroes yet. Keep that in mind. Finally goes ahead and drops the king from the 12 o'clock spot here. Drops a wizard in behind. Gets the wall breakers in. Opens things up. Just wants to kind of get the trash cleared out of the way. Get his queen in behind. And have the queen take out all... Oh my god. Excuse me. My cat just scared the crap out of me and I burped. Anyhow. <laughs> my bad. Uh, but the whole deal, right, was to get the queen in there and take care of some of those CC troops. And take care of that air defense. Hits the ability. Her job is done because down goes that air D just in time. Really just needs to let the drags work through the rest of this base. Beautiful. Only threat is really that Inferno Tower on that top side there. And drags are slowly making their way around. The level 1 Inferno just takes down those dragons so, so, so slowly. You know, it's really, really good. Good solid attack for 10 versus 10. Especially against newer Town Hall 10s with lower level... Um, uh, what am I looking for? Because uh, that didn't really have lower level defenses, but you know, I mean, level one Inferno Towers is a lower level defense. Yes, I get that, but um, it's it's just you got to have a plan of how you're going to take down the air defenses, how you're going to suicide your heroes, um, how you're going to deploy your dragons. You need to know your pathing, and if you can kind of figure out a lot of those things, get the CC dealt with. Um, drags at Town Hall Ten is very very strong right now, guys. Absolutely. So go ahead and check out chat. <clears throat> bring seven bowlers 10 valkyries here with an earthquake thought this was a very very interesting breakdown an army comp here so quake goes down gonna open things up look at that absolutely perfect nine tile quake i love it hog goes in and gonna go ahead and get that lure out out comes a pekka and a couple balloons so no big deal drops the queen down there with the healers gets a bit of a funnel going with that wizard <clears throat> wants that Pekka to work its way on over, and as soon as it does, it's basically going to pop that ability, take down the Pekka, take down the balloons, no big deal. There we go. So as I said before, make sure you wait for that first swing from the Pekka, and then hit your ability, because she's going to take that down every single time. <clears throat> but, you know, pretty much her job's done. Um, did, did she did some big work there already she's going to continue her way up and around and meet up with this kill squad here in any second goes ahead and drops a giant uh does a little bit of tanking he's going to go ahead and open this wall up or does he just drop no he's got the wall breakers wall breakers are going to go in here any second there they go open things up giants go in few bowlers behind few valks behind like the the double two finger drop on those uh chat just really get gonna get good spread now on all those units does do lose sort of lose a few bowlers here off to the side but no big deal right valks in there doing their thing nice free spell goes down or was that a misclick or did you get that inferno tower i must have missed something there sorry guys like i said really tired uh, but he's got wizards around the base here the bowlers are kind of doing their thing a uh, bit of a spread on them, so that's kind of dangerous because you can get them picked off very, very quickly. But the Archer Queen's with one of them. The Valks and King are with a few more in the middle. Does have the Miners now, too, going in, right? Miners just kind of following in around, up around 12 o'clock. So nice, very variety of troops here, chat. I don't know if you're going for the most most variety attack award or something like that, but <laughs> absolutely smashing it. Miners doing great work here. Love it. You know, they do not stand a chance against these point defenses. Really helping the bowlers and cleanup wizards on the outside do their thing without having anything to worry about. 
<clears throat> does lose a few of the miners there. Oh, they trail off to that storage, but it doesn't really matter. They go right back to that expo. Down goes the expo and a few smacks. Down it goes. Only a few defenses to go, right? Queen is just going to work through that wall. She does have a healer helping her out. Not quite enough, but it's just enough to get her through to the cannon. Down goes the cannon. Got Valks and Wizards on the outside just smashing that stuff. And it's Tree Stars in the bag for chat. Nice job, buddy. Beautiful. Seven bowlers, seven miners, ten Valks, four giants. Pretty sure you used every unit, maybe, except for like baby drags. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Anyhow, moving on. Uh, I got. That's it, I believe, for this side that I want to show you. Let's check out the other side. <coughs> Excuse me. We're going to go up to number 27. Check out Mouthpiece, our fearless leader. Going in on silent here. MP bringing 10 Valks, 4 healers, 1 jump, 2 rage, 1 heal. Going to go ahead and just open up on this queen chamber right away. Just drop that queen right in there. A couple wizards trying to do some quick funneling work. Might have wanted to bring minis for that town hall just because there's really, you know, on, on this side, nothing that could have shot the minis, but that mortar's doing sweet work of it. Anyhow, rage goes down, poison goes down, CC troops are out. So has to work through that stuff. Does have to hit the ability there, unfortunately, but no big deal. Down goes the defensive king. Down go the CC troops. Queen is standing in that poison as well. She's about to get taken down at the same time. King's going in. Valks go in. Wall gets kind of opened up there. <laughs> Uh, but Valks finish that off in two seconds. In they go. Bowlers are in behind. Everything's going to start working into this base now. This is actually one of my uh, sort of go-to attacks right now. Um, basically just bringing a walk with um, you know a heavy amount of Valks. Maybe a couple giants just to create that funnel. And bowlers in the CC. And it's actually working out really well. Uh, Valks get ahead and start just ripping everything up. Bowlers start just following their way into the core and doing their own thing. And once, uh, obviously, once uh, the Valkyries get ahead and start taking on the defenses, the bowlers are just free to smash through the bases as they please. Queen's doing her, Queen's kind of walking up at around 12. I don't think he exactly wanted that. I think he wanted to push the Queen down and into the core with everything. But it doesn't matter. It actually works out well because um, she does a huge amount of cleanup at this top section that I don't think would have get clean, would have got cleaned up if uh, if it weren't for that. So because you see what I mean at this point in the raid. There's not a lot of units left. Like the Valks all kind of split. He's got a couple wins down here helping the Val um, Valken King sort of work their way back up to this chamber. The Queen has lost her healers because of that air defense. So things are like, ee, I still got an expo, a couple, few more point defense, a couple whiz towers to go. Got to get in through a wall because nothing can reach the air defense really or anything there. Ee, this could be this could be shaky, but absolutely gets that King ability. Queen steps up. Finishes off the arch tower. Has two more hogs in there. Work on the cannon. Boom, boom, boom. Tree stars in the bag for MP. Nice job, buddy. Beauty. Uh, 25. Little mock coming with the mock six attack. Uh, so a similar idea to what we just saw, right? Um, except instead of bringing bowlers in the CC, you're bringing miners. And... Uh, similar idea, right? You just want to get in there, get the queen taken care of, get the CC taken care of, open up a pathway for your Valks to get in, go in with your king, let them do some damage, and reinforce from one of the flanks with your CC, which is either miners or bowlers. In this case, it's miners. So you're going to see Mac just walk right in here, bam, 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 take care of that queen very quickly. Down she goes. Nice little poison spell, help his queen out. <clears throat> Walking in. I think after this arch tower, she goes back up and around. There she goes. <clears throat> so we can take her a little bit. She's just going to step up into range here of the clan castle any moment. Just be nice and patient with this. Does lose a lose his wizard, but just in time, it takes out the storage. Bam! Takes out that arch tower. She's going to step down. Out comes that clan castle. Next poison is going to go down right now. Take care of that stuff. Bunch of gobbies coming out of there, just eating up the queen's uh, the queen's attacks. But the poison spell is just too much for them. Down it goes. Does hit the ability very smartly. Probably could have got away with it. I don't know. It's tough to say. There were only two Valks there, but 
Um, without the raid spell, I don't trust it under the poison either. So very smartly, Mock just hits the ability right away. Gets that funnel done, right? And just decides to drop all his Valks at this section, right? His Queen's at 12, Valks at 9. Everything's going to kind of meet up in the core. And then he basically has 10 Hogs and a heal to deal with this back end as everything works through the base. So Valks all working in. Down go the defenses. Down goes that Skelly Trap. <clears throat> just got to work through that Mortar real quick. But blam drops the miners now from basically this eight o'clock on the whole point of the miners is to make sure the valves keep moving through the core right so you start taking care of all this trash on the outside via the miners plus these uh the point defenses in this sort of six o'clock compartment it's really going to force the valves into the core where the queen was going so everything uh, everything meets up in the core with the miners doing their work on the outside to keep everything moving in the same direction and bam 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 and if you look at this point there's an arch tower a cannon and a wizard tower left and that's gonna be it for this base absolutely all these miners down here just gonna smash through everything even has a couple wizards look at what he's still got in the bag okay we're at 80 percent destruction you know his queen could finish the rest of this base off i'm not sure exactly how much time is up but there's got to be still a fair amount of time left five hogs two wizards two wall breakers and a minion still left that he doesn't even need to deploy at this point. Miners are just going to smash through this base. Does drop a wizard up there just kind of smartly, right? Just going to continue to work through the base. Uh, Arch Tower locks on the queen, so in go the rest of these hogs. Going to finish off these defenses. Miners are home free to finish off the base. Kablam, kablam, and tree stars in the bag for Mach. Nice job, buddy. The Mach 6. 10 Valks, 10 hogs, 4 healers, a few wizards, and miners in the clan castle. That's how she's done. Right. What else I got here? 19. Was it 19? No, it was Daze's attack. Daze is the HGHB master, but I've already shown a couple HGHB, so I don't know if we have to show that. Definitely going to show Leo, though, because Leo is the air master right now. He's the Town Hall 9 master of the skies. Absolutely bringing these uh, either cold blooded or stone, or sorry, shattered Lalos. Oh, hang on one second. <laughs> Sorry, just had a visitor here. <laughs> Anyhow, so you're going to see Leo here just really, um, really abuse this section. Okay, stop yelling, please. Let's go upstairs. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Yeah, go. She's came to get her puzzle. Anyhow, like I was saying, um, one golem goes in, right? Take care of the defensive queen. Take care of the CC troops. Now, look how close these wizards were to not getting that baby drag. That would have been trouble. But they get it just in time. Air defense gets taken out. And guess what? I got four lava hounds for three air defense. That means we're looking A-OK. -okay. Hay spell goes down to push these balloons into this base as quickly as possible. Look, he's still got four haste, two balloons, or sorry, two lava hounds, and... 10 balloons. So in goes another Lava Hound. Two more haste go down. Just going to throw everything on top of these defenses. Just through this base so, so quickly. I believe another haste is going to go down around these point defense up here. Still six more um, balloons in the bag. In goes that fourth Lava Hound. Still has two of them in there doing tanking. Just absolutely fantastic. And already has balloons in on top of the air defense. Down goes that air defense. And realistically, still, I believe, did he get both those hounds to burst there? I think he's still got a hound in the pack of balloons there. I don't think they both burst, did they? Did they? They did. Crazy. Absolutely. They both... No, it's there. It's there. I saw it. It hides well in the balloon. See, there it is. Um, but really, there's a sweeper to go. Pops all over the base. Leo just smashing bases with this cold-blooded Lalo. I'm absolutely loving it, my friend. Keep it up, buddy. It's a tree in the bag. All righty. I got a few more here for you. 17. Good old Robbie. And good old Derpadu with one of these classic open alleyway bases. You can tell Derp doesn't watch any of my videos. Derp de derp. Because <laughs> I trash these bases all the time. And I shouldn't really, but the, the, this is the problem, right? This is this is exactly how you hit these bases. Well, look. Look at this little 6 o'clock section, okay? You don't really need to worry about anything past it. All you care about here is the queen, 
the air defense and the CC troops. And it's all just some nice one little bundle here, just same as Leo did, right? Let's just move it onto this base, pull out the CC, bring a couple Valks just to ensure that air defense goes down. He probably didn't even need them though. Rages up the king, down goes all that stuff. Queen's about to lock onto the baby drag, and down it goes. All right, now, with that being said, we still have 14 balloons. We still have four Lava Hounds and three air defense. Well, part of the problem way these these sort of open alleyway bases are sectioned off is it's just so vulnerable. Once this part, this bottom part of the base is taken care of, you can just start feeding in in a, in a rotation and it's almost like there's only one set of outer compartments to worry about, but I don't know. Is what it is. First town is in. Let's start dropping some balloons in behind. Has two haste and a rage is going to use. First haste goes down. Doop, doop. <clears throat> Just has to work everything into that Tesla farm. Down goes the air defense. Nice rage placement. Going to get really good value on that rage out of the balloons. Boom. Down go the expo. Let's move back up onto the Teslas. Down go the Teslas. Right, still has a hound in the bag. He's gonna drop sort of the backside here. Just has to make sure everything works to that one air defense. And look, just the way the pathing works, it's just too easy, right? We're just gonna go like from compartment one, compartment two, compartment three, compartment four, compartment five. Let's just reinforce with the lava hounds as needed. Drop a few hastes, and it's G G for this base. Absolutely, down goes the air defense. Really, there's a Tesla and a couple ground defenses to go. Base is on cleanup mode. Absolutely smashed it, Robbie. Nice job, my friend. Sexy, sexy. All right. What else I got here for you? That's a lengthy recap. Zerzy boy. Good old 10v10 action here, guys. Um, so, you know, Friendly's getting up there, right? One level three Inferno, level two Inferno there. Um, you know, level or Town Hall 10 air defense. That's pretty much it, I guess. I don't know about the Teslas, but, um, you know, he's getting there, right? Uh, Zerzi really does a good number on this base, so really exaggerates the funnel. Just wants to get, make sure all that stuff on that side goes down. All that stuff on that side goes down. Let's send everything else up the middle. Bunch of, you know, he definitely did a good good roll with his forehead on dropping the bowlers there if he had rolled it a little bit to the right i think the bowlers would have walked even more than they did <laughs> but sends in all the bowlers up the middle to drop a couple raid spells take care of all that stuff needs that queen to get in there take out care of that baby drag and she does free spell goes down misses the defensive queen just a little bit with that uh, freeze that would have been so nice if he freezed her but doesn't matter queen's in there king's in there takes that stuff down bowlers are still just absolutely smashing every defense they get near here has these few bowlers on the outside that um, kind of, like I said before, with these miners now, they're just a force. Like you need this almost on the outside um, to allow everything to just just continue the cleanup process, right? If you had every single troop go through the middle, you wouldn't have enough time to get through the base and back up and around. But anyways, is what it is. Miners moving through, doing that cleanup. Just absolutely smooth. There's no defenses other than that whiz tower at 6 o'clock they have to worry about. So it's just a matter of time for these miners to work through the rest of the base. But the fact that they're kind of doing cleanup on one side the whole time, then he's got these other units on the outside, that's the, that is the rotation you need to get. You need to get some sort of cleanup troops on either side of the base where you got a good core set going through the middle and smashing all the defenses down. And you will come away with these 10 versus 10 three stars. Nice job there, Zerzi. Z-Man. Uh, what's next? I got bullied. Good old Nina. Iceman goes in on Nina here. The old 15 Valks. Don't see this too much. Kind of a cool base design, I thought, by Nina, but Ice really exposes it. A uh, couple baby drags down, getting that funnel going for the Valks. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. They do their job. Down they go. And let's go ahead and send in this golem. Oh, first we're going to send in the queen, sorry, from this side. <clears throat> She's going to continue the process now. I believe he walks her. I'm trying to remember this attack. Again, like I watched him three days ago. My bad. Um, but he just kind of walks down around this chamber. Takes care. Part of the, I think the reason you want to do this is because he gets an expo out of the deal for a walk, which is a really good value, right? Especially a level four expo and a few other point defenses. She's getting good value. Down goes the rage. You know, work through that stuff. Down goes the expo, and then she is looking fine and dandy. So in goes that golem now, finally right at the town hall. I'm gonna go ahead and open up that wall with some uh, wall breakers. 
drop those Valkyries in, smash the barracks, and in they go. He's going to use jump number one um, just to get it right into the Inferno, right into the Queen Chamber. There it goes. Let's smash all this stuff down. Down goes the Queen. Down goes the Inferno. Beautiful. So jump number two is going to allow everything in the rest of the base to that. Like really two jumps get you into both Infernos very, very directly. So that ended up sort of being the demise of this base there, Dennis. But miners in from the outside. Look, same idea, guys, right? Let's pause this. What happened here in this attack? We sent in a queen walk from basically 12 to 9. We sent in units to the core, a bunch of Valks, right, to take out the core, and miners on the outside. You kind of always need a cleanup on one side, a cleanup on the other side, and something up the middle. That's sort of the theme right now of this Town Hall 10 game. It's because even if his Valks got all the way through, if all his Valks stayed in the middle, and he didn't have any miners or brought more Valks, they would have got all through the core, Got all these defenses, ended up here, then had to work all the way back up and around. They wouldn't have enough time. There's no way. So these miners doing a really good job just helping these Valks power through all this stuff. End up meeting up with this king down here. King ends up pittering out, I believe. Oh, the expo turns onto the goal might, so that's kind of perfect. But Queen's in there, just finally loses her at the end because of that air defense placement. Really nice air placement, uh, air D placement there, Dennis. But the miners just are too much, just working through these defenses, right? Valk's in there doing tanking for them. Just takes them, takes them a little bit of time to get through that stuff. Once they do, gonna be GG. Beautiful. Tree in the bag for Iceman. Oh, the builder's hut in the corner almost got you. Boom. All right. Time to finish this bad boy off. Yes. Big Papa going in on the Mav Man. So, was talking about this in chat. Maverick, your base. I like the abstract concept. I just don't think it worked out well. Um, there's just too much openness. Uh, especially, you know, the way bowlers are right now, you want them getting stuck on walls. Even with Valks back in the day, you just need more for them to get stuck on. So you're going to see what happens here with Big Papa. He just absolutely smashes this, which is freaking awesome. Just a beautiful attack. <clears throat> so we got eight miners. Make full note of this CC comp here. <clears throat> and the bowlers moving on the outside, right? Get that funnel going. Gonna let everything into this large, large compartment that's basically, the, right? There's only some wall breakers and then you're right at the eagle. On top of that, you're at the eagle and one jump spell allows you into both the, sorry, both of the inferno compartments and the queen chamber. So that's kind of where I think the demise of this base was, Maverick. I mean, you just basically with a few wall breakers and one jump, you're allowing access to the eagle, queen chamber, and both inferno towers. That's just too much. Bowlers start smashing through this stuff like absolutely nothing. Get through that core. And surprise, surprise, look, we got miners on the outside here doing their thing. Nothing on this side for this attack, um, which kind of makes it very close. I believe this is the last part of the base to go down. But think if you had like a few bowlers with a few healers on this side, they would be working up this working up this way and nothing would really bother them. I mean, maybe that expo, but no big deal, right? Miners kind of pushing everything through this base all together where it's a sort of a big sort of de Protoss death ball for any play StarCraft 2, you know what I'm talking about. The old death ball just working through, bunch of Colossus, absolutely just destroying everything in their path. Nothing that can be done at this point, right? Though those max level Inferno tires down, and that um, not getting the Grand Warden with healers in there, you know, it's, it's just too much. These heroes are going to absolutely finish this base. All these miners as well helping things out. Queen finally bursts through. i let everything on in here. <clears throat> boom, boom, boom. Just need a few more hits on this wall. And everything's going to get let back into where this expo is and finish this base off. Miner's still doing their thing, just doing going around the circle, right? Like the miner is absolutely awesome. I'm loving seeing guys, you know, bringing you're bringing they're bringing mass bowlers, but th there's a difference now to exactly how they're using them, and they're really starting to use these miners and Valkyries and other units like hogs and stuff in combination with all that, and coming away with sexy 11 versus 11 triples. Big Papa, the beast of the war. Nice job, buddy. I mean, we did lose. Really, I would say the major difference was that attack and the one I just showed you was the 10. The 10 on 10 
and the 11 on 11 were sort of the difference in, in the war. So, hey, great war, guys. This is my family, both sides. I love you all. I wish every recap I could just do <laughs> like this. Um, you know, uh, hats off to a fantastic war for both sides. So I know I'm literally about to go into battle date with Spartan's Legacy with 2.0. So I got to go get prepped for that because I'm freaking exhausted from my camping trip too. So I need a little bit of time to relax here. But really hope you guys enjoyed this extended replay, recap, whatever you want to call it. God, see, that's how out of it I am. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, a lot of really sexy bases in there, guys. Um you know, none of them were easy. I mean, yeah, we got some fresh hit triples, I'm not going to lie, but none of these bases were easy. All of our guys are really on par with their base build, and I love seeing it, love seeing the attacks. Love seeing just the chirping, too, the friendly chirping going back and forth was absolutely awesome. Good old Mikhail with his uh, sexy videos and his uh, his roast hand. If, you, if I still had my webcam, Mikhail, I'd be showing you my roast hand right now. Smarten up, buddy. You better smarten up. <laughs> Anyhow, enough ranting. Not going to call it a night. That'll do it for your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help it bag that next tree star. Till then, I'm out.